It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the New England Patriots and the Jacksonville Jaguars. All that and more coming up next. Now the humidity is still a factor on this fall afternoon, but no rain in the forecast. That's the good news as you look inside Everbank Stadium here in Jacksonville. But today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one, as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. Happy to be with you. And, CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical. Who wins up front? Who runs the ball the best and controls the clock? They will come out the victor. Jacksonville and he won't quite make it to the 25 so here come the Patriots to take over on offense and they will be let out by their second year quarterback and he's a young man who's always believed in his talents didn't have many offers out of high school ended up at Houston Baptist and put up monster numbers decided to take the next step and go to Western Kentucky, and he did it again. Set NCAA records for passing touchdowns and passing yards in a single season. Now the big jump to the NFL. This guy's like a very skilled point guard, knows how to deal and put the ball in the proper place with every throw. Zappi throwing on the first play. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll make it second down. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good, and once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Zappi's throw here taken in by Parker. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. They'll run it. This is Ramondre Stevenson. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Now second and five. A quick throw caught out wide by Bourne. And they'll wind up getting this with all the way down inside the 20. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. No score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. A give for Stevenson, running right. And he'll get this down only to the 18. 
credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman. The ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? Zappi back to throw. That'll be complete to Stevenson. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up early first and goal. That's what it is. That's what it is. First and goal. A chance for an early statement here on the road. Zappi looks to throw it. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11 yard line. Devin Lloyd, the one to get home and earn that sack. The first and goal looked like things were set up nicely. And now all of a sudden on second and goal, Charles, a big challenge ahead of him. And you have to know when you're this close to the goal line, things are going to happen faster. So you've got to get the ball out quick. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Third and goal. Here's Zappi. And he's left with no option here with the throw. You're in field goal range, so you definitely want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. Here's Chad Riley now on for the field goal. From 28 yards out. And his kick is good. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So a nice drive on the road. You come in, you take the ball down, you get three points. Yeah, points are a must on an opening drive, right? So they moved it down efficiently, got it done. I think that bodes well for their chances moving forward in this one. So after the field goal, Riley back out as he'll send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. And you want to talk about enormous expectations being placed on a quarterback. How about what Trevor Lawrence faced coming out of college? But the good thing for him, he's used to it. He had the same type of expectations leaving high school and going to Clemson. They always expect him to be a franchise savior, whatever team he joins. And to his credit, he shouldered those expectations and he's doing everything in his power to follow through. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. So we've hit halftime in what was obviously a very fast-moving first half of play. As we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. If you missed the first half, there's not much to get you caught up on. Just the lone field goal accounting for the entirety of the scoring. A 3-0 game to this point, as both defenses have been strong so far. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three.
Just one field goal in a tightly played first half as we resume action here in quarter number three. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Now a second and six. ETN once more. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Well, obviously searching for their first touchdown this game, partner, and that quick three and out, that's not going to achieve that at all. Give victory to the secondary there. They brought out tight coverage on that third down snap. Here's Logan Cook now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And he'll get this away into the humid Florida sky. Here's Jones on the return. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Patriots take over. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And Charles, we've seen almost three full quarters now, and neither offense can really get it going. Neither has hit the end zone, and neither side seemingly can make that big play. But the game hasn't been devoid of action because these two defenses, they've taken over and they've slugged it out. But I think you're exactly right. We're at that stage of the game now where one of these offenses, if they make a big play, that could be the difference. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Zappi. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. He's got some space. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Play fake, and now here's Zappi. And incomplete on the deep ball. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Zappi. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Zappi looking to throw it again. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Second and ten. Straight ahead, it's Stevenson. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here. 154 left as they call the timeout defensively.
Third and nine here. Going play action here with Zappi. And that's caught inside the 30. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. the middle. Here's Stevenson. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Patriots can run it out from here. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive has eaten up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. The Patriots in the victory formation as they'll take the knee. To a knee, there goes Zappi, and that is going to be the ball game. Brent, I can just tell you from experience, there's nothing like pitching a shutout on defense, but even more so when it's a tight game. I mean, when every defensive play is crucial and you don't give up any points, boy, they're going to feel awfully good about themselves after this one. Yeah, exactly. The offense wasn't humming, but hey, all they needed was... Uh, you can't score one point. All they needed was two points. Well, you can't score two points on offense. All they needed was at least three, and they got what they needed. They got what they needed. Exactly right. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And not all Ws are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they 